today I thought I'd do a quick review of the Omelette Automatic Chicken Cube Opener. Now, I've had this installed for a while now. As you can see, it's been working great. I've just done a quick video of, of it opening uh, this morning. So the first thing I'd say about it is, uh, before I installed this automatic chicken cube opener, we'd have to remember to get up every morning and to come out to open the chickens. Now with quite a lot going on in the morning, you would now and again forget to open the door and, and it would have been the first time if I forgot to open the door. Uh, also in the evening, if I'm not around to close the door, it also will automatically close. Now, well, what I actually like about this automatic chicken coop door opener is it actually opens with the daylight hours. So, so it's got a light sensor uh, which is built into the unit. Uh, this is the unit here that actually controls the door. So the light sensor, I've been using that and it works all right. But the problem I have is in this paddock here with the chicken coop is we have an electric fence around the perimeter. But the chickens have a tendency to go over the fence and go into the woods. Now we get quite a few foxes around here. So I've decided to go with the timer. So I've actually been using it with the timer. So I have the timer come on around half six uh, in the morning. Door opens and they come out. And by that time, we've usually got no foxes around in the woods there. So uh, that's why I don't use a light sensor. I did test the light sensor and it did work great. You can actually change the settings so that you can have it come on. So say this was in a bit of a shaded area. So it would take a while to come on. You can actually adjust the settings, the light sensitivity so that it opens now i did test this and it did work great so if you wanted to use it inside a coop where there were no risk of uh, foxes once the door uh, had opened then you could you could just use a light sensor uh, no problem doing that but like i said uh, i've switched back to the timer because i know that when the door opens at half past six that there's no foxes that are paddocking in the woods uh, at that time so uh, that's what i do i have the timer at the moment i have it closed at about half past nine it always closes really well now first i'll, I'll talk about installation now uh, the installation is was pretty simple so basically all i actually had was four bolts here one there one there one there and one there and you literally measure a hole that's about 12 inches high by about eight inches across then once you've done that hole hole for the coop you then would hold the coop on put a spirit level on to make sure it's level and then just mark out your holes and then you would drill the holes for the bolts to go straight through. Now, I did have a few issues because uh, one of the holes went into a main beam. So I obviously couldn't use uh, a bolt. So I actually used a washout and a screw there. And this one was a bolt that went into a beam. So I, so I used my multi-tool and just cut away a little bit of the beam so that I could get the uh, wing nut on to the nut on the other side. But these two go straight through the panels and on the other side is a metal bracket. I'll show you in a minute. There's a metal bracket and uh, wing nuts. So it was really easy to install. Uh, this is the uh, control unit. Uh, this was very easy to use and set up, basically. See if I can show you. You've got a metal panel there. You screw that on, and then the control unit just slides onto it. Uh, this is the control unit. I'll, I'll zoom it in in a minute, so, so we can actually have a quick look at the uh, control unit. But it's powered by four AA batteries. Uh, that's what I'm running it off. Don't know how long it'll last yet, but I suspect it should last around uh, six months of usage, which isn't bad. Uh, you can get a 12 volt adapter, which you can feed through and plug in. So if you had a, uh, an electric socket nearby, I would probably get the adapter and use that. Uh, at the moment, I've got no electric sockets that are particularly near here. Uh, so, so I've gone with the batteries, but they seem to be lasting all right. So hopefully, I think I will get around six months out of the batteries. At the moment, I've just got Dura cells in there, but I think I will get some uh, rechargeable batteries so that I'm not buying uh, new batteries every six months for it. The cables, uh, they're already attached to the uh, unit. Uh, they're on like little little plugs that you just uh, plug in. Once you open the back up, there's these four screws. One, two, three, four. You take them off, that's where the batteries are. And that's where you plug, you plug the wire in. It's just like a little clip, it clips in. And then you put the four screws back in. Uh, that's fairly straightforward. So the uh, quality wise, I think it's great. And I really think that uh, they've done a great job with this. 
Something else that uh, stands out about this one, it wasn't really an issue for me because I was attaching it to the shed, but you can also attach it to traditional uh, wire mesh. And uh, the brand who make this, uh, they also do their own plastic runs. Uh, they're really well designed if you want to if you want to take a look at them. But uh, they uh, they will obviously work with their runs and their cubes. But like I said, it comes as standard with everything you need to attach it to uh, a wooden shed or a wooden coop. So that's the route I went down. Uh, if you're attaching it to one of their own coops or if you're attaching it to just traditional wire mesh, uh, you do need to buy an uh, additional uh, kit. There's just a few accessories. Now, something I will mention is when I first opened this in the box, there were loads of different parts in it and I thought this is going to be a nightmare. And, and the booklet was really thick as well. I have got the booklet on me right now, but the booklet, you know, it was a decent thickness. Anyway, once I got in, into it, there, there were only like four pages in the booklet that you actually needed to look at and it was fairly straightforward like I just mentioned you measure your hole so you've got the right hole you put your automatic door against it you mark the holes with a pen just mark with black marker and then you screw and then you drill sorry holes through the shed and insert the bolts then you've got little wing nuts which I'll show you in a moment on the other side and you just tighten them up so this has been working great it's never missed a beat got a sensor here so if anything is in the door way when it's shutting uh, then the door will stop so uh, there's no risk of injury to chickens which I like quality wise I've not seen a better quality uh, chicken door uh, at all really I think the design is brilliant uh, something else that I will mention is this chicken door uh, you can actually have it open left to right like I have here but you can also have it open right to left because all you need to do is to turn it over so it's upside down and then it will open the other way around instead. You'll notice that the logo here is the right way up, but the logo there is upside down. That is so you can turn it around and you've still got the logo the uh, right way up here. So the control unit is really easy to use. We've got the OK button, which is here. If you hold the OK button in, it actually opens and closes it uh, manually. So I'll demonstrate that now. As you can see, the door is now shut in. It just, uh, on the control panel, if you can't see, it just says closing in one, two, three, and then when it's gone through the three seconds, it starts to close. Now in a minute, I'll open the chicken cube again, and I'll show you, uh, it does the exact same thing. You hold the OK button in, and after three seconds, it'll start to open. Just let go of that. So uh, something I really like about this control unit is it's really easy to use. You can set the time, that was pretty straightforward. You press OK, you scroll through until you see time, press OK again, and then you change the minutes and the hours. You change it so that it opens with the light sensor. And something else you can also adjust is the sensitivity, as mentioned earlier. Uh, that's in uh, numbers. So I think by default it's set to around uh, three, something like that. So at three, the light sensor will sense when, when it's nearly dark or when it's nearly light, and it will open and close within that. If it's closing too early or closing too late or opening too early, opening too late, then you can adjust the sensitivity uh, quite, it's quite easy to adjust it on there. And again, the time, time is all set on here too. So you would set the time to tell you want it to open. So half six in my case, I set it to. And every morning, opens at half six. I uh, don't need to worry whether I've shut the coop. Uh, I know that the coop is shut. I will mention there's one, one additional feature. It doesn't come as standard, but I actually ordered for this and that was the uh, coupe light. Now, the uh, coupe light, I'll show a picture of it now. The uh, coupe light, uh, what it actually does does is, five minutes before the door's shut, the coupe light comes on. Now, all this does, if there's any odd chickens that have, uh, that, that, uh, have not come in yet, then uh, it encourages them to come inside the coupe because, because the light is on inside there. It's fairly dark out here, so they tend to go in uh, if there's any chickens that are left out. Now, I don't really have that issue, to be honest. So what I have actually done is, I've actually turned it off so I don't have the light come on uh, in the evening because they're always in anyway. And, and I was a little bit worried about how much battery it would actually use up on the unit. If I was using the 12 volt adapter, then perhaps I would keep it installed. But it is handy now because I've got a light in there because I can also hold this, this uh, gig in and the light inside the shed will actually come on. And then I hold it in again and it turns off so, so I do like having the light because at least if I come out at night, I want to check something, I can switch the light on and it'll switch it on using this. 
inside the coop. So that's a good idea. Yeah, so to sum up this, this video, uh, I'm really happy with this uh, chicken coop <laughs> shed. I, I will put a link in the description. So if you want to take a look at it on the site, have a look. I've also done uh, a written review with the uh, installation of this. So feel free to check out that on my blog about the uh, how easy it was to install and a written review of this which goes into more detail about all the different features as well. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I do post more videos to do with the chickens, the run. I also do a lot of gardening videos, reviews of gardening products. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel for that. Don't forget to click that little bell to get notified every time I release a new video. And don't forget to smash that like button as it really does help me out and get my videos out to more people. Thanks for watching.